hey guys we have been looking for mcp on the north on the south to the east to the west but little did we know that we have mcp right inside of docker desktop so you can see we have mcp toolkit here and using this you have catalog of 225 mcp servers ready to be used at any point of time and you can integrate it with different clients as well so for example we have lot desktop continue cursor gemini goose garden lm studio sima 4 visual studio code all these clients and all these servers are ready for you to use in this video we are going to see how to connect them and use just give you one or two examples of how to use them and you can explore the rest by yourself again mcp it's model context protocol it's an open source standard for connecting ai applications to external systems essentially the mcp sits in between just like an api but it's way way more smarter and easier to use than the api so it sits between your data sources and tools on the right so you can see we have data and file systems development tools for example git productivity tools and other storage systems other tools on the right and you can see on the left we have all these ai applications that are data hungry they want data they want it in a particular format but the api keeps changing and therefore we delegate the task to the mcp servers the mcp servers are smart enough and they pass knowledge they pass information to the llms to the ai applications in such a way that no matter if there is any upgrades in the tools and sources data sources we don't have any problem and we are able to easily integrate with the help of mcps now in the mcps we have servers so servers as you have seen these are the program that expose the capabilities to the ai applications so any tools any databases any sort of hands or feet that you can say are being exposed to the ai applications and the clients are those programs that use those tools so we need a connection between the clients and servers and that's the mcp let's go to the docker so for that we need to get a docker installed i'm on my windows system i go ahead and install docker on desktop docker desktop for windows and once i install i can see that i have this interface and here if i go i can go to mcp toolkit here and i can browse through the different mcp servers that i have i can click on browse and for example i can go to hugging face and i just click here we add the server here we go again to catalog and now let's search for DuckDuckGo if we have that okay we have that we add that as well next we can add for example playwright or we can go to catalog here and search for playwright and add this we can search for one more we can search for wikipedia again my bad we can go to catalog and search for wikipedia so we have this wikipedia and you have another 225 uh servers ready for you to use you can see the list goes on and on people are bringing in new servers day by day so let's work with this for only we go to the client now you can see that it's connected to uh, quite a few but i would like to show in this video the gemini client now if it is like this which is disconnected what you need to do is we need to first go ahead and learn about gemini cli so gemini cli is an open source ai agent that brings the power of gemini this is this can be thought of as an agent that use that helps you get information it also uses mcp this is an mcp client that needs a server in order to get started what we can do is we can run this simple command we need to have npm install and then you can go ahead and run this simple command npm install dash g at rate google slash gemini dash cli so let's go to a particular folder so i've created a new folder i'm gonna go to cmd here and here if i paste this this is going to install gemini cli okay so we can see that uh, these packages has been changed now what i can do is i can go ahead and start up gemini so i can say gemini and press enter that's it this is going to start up gemini cli that's pretty awesome so we have this uh tips for getting started ask questions edit files be specific for the best results create gemini md file to customize interaction at gemini help for more information let's create something uh, for example uh, create a python file called main uh, dot pi and uh, implement a function for finding or to find the conjugate of a complex number so a plus ib if, if that's input i want a minus ib so it's going to go to the formulation so write file it's asking if it's allowed to write file so i can say yes 
allow once as of now and then it's going to define the function implementation so it's defining the conjugate complex here example is if c is equal to 3 plus 4j and the conjugate is conjugate of c conjugate c is just make the conjugate here so we can see that uh, i've created the pi file the, ma the main dot pi file and if we go ahead and see inside so we have this file that has been created now uh, we can run this file so python i can say main dot pi so if you go ahead ask for my permission to execute this and i can say yes allow once allow always or no i can say allow once and this will execute so after execution you can see that the conjugate of three plus four j is three minus four j and that really works we can see that we have one mcp server here so control t to view if i press control t i can see that we have this github mcp and these are the number of tools we have 96 tools so this is the mcp github only only one to only one mcp server is present we're going to add another one so i'm going to go to the docker desktop go to clients and click on connect to gemini cli this will what will happen is that this will add these tools as well so now we have a 21 plus 11 which is 32 and 11 it's 43 so we're going to have 43 more number of tools under the server of mcp or we can say docker mcp so let's restart gemini and then you'll be able to see the new tools has been added so i'm going to open cmd again i'm going to say gemini now it should load up gemini again so it's loaded the cache credentials and it started uh the gemini again so here now we can see that we have two mcp servers now if i say Control t and you can see that the first one was this the github mcp server and there we have 96 tools so tools are add comment to pending review add issue comment the mcp docker server has 43 tools and you can see that browser click browser close has wikipedia search wikipedia we have fetch content here so if you go to docker if you go to desktop docker you can see that uh for example in the wikipedia if you click on the tools you can see that these are the number of tools that we have now let's go ahead and test one of this so extract key facts from a wikipedia article so let's go ahead and forcefully try to get content from the wikipedia so what i can say now is you know, search for uh, the term zubin garg in wikipedia this person was a great artist in india and he just died mysteriously and you can see that it's asking uh, for my permission to use the tool called search wikipedia inside of the mcp server mcp docker and i say yes so this will go ahead and search for that term zubin garg so it's trying to get the information it's running the query trying to get the results and uh, it was able to get the result but now it's trying to go ahead and use this get summary tool so i'm going to say yes you can go ahead and get the summary it's trying to get the summary and you can see that this is a summary so it's an indian musician singer composer songwriter instrumentalist actor director filmmaker and uh, as a matter of fact we have seen the fourth highest gathering procession for any deaths that have occurred throughout history the first was michael jackson and this person when he died about 1.5 million people came uh, on the streets to pay respect to him so and even more uh, we have seen how we can use this tool you can use the other uh, tools that are available here as well now i can ask for this uh, duck, duck, Go has two tools so fetch content and search now i can say uh, search for uh, rag light by the way you can check out this video uh, for the rag light this is very interesting one uh, it's just pip install rag light and and uh, this will help you to implement the RAG or Retrieval Augmented Generation pipeline. And the entire pipeline is modeled in this particular library. And you can just go ahead and say pip install RAG light. So search for RAG lights uh, and tell me how to install. Search for RAG light and tell me how to install. Now this is going to use some of the tools let's see which tool is it going to use so it's going to go through the google search okay did you mean rag light if not could you please provide me context or the spelling i think the spelling is correct so it's rag light and uh, i can go ahead and ask it to search on github uh, please search on a github library and it's searching for repositories rag light so rag light site github.com it's searching okay so this is the one it found out that uh this is a rag light uh, GitHub. It was able to accurately find this one. It's a boss on 40 rag light and it's interpreting. So rag light is a lightweight and a modular Python library for implementing retrieval augment generation. You can install it by pip install rag light. And that is pretty awesome. You can see here, this is just a very a new library just released last month. And I've created a video on this as well. 
So pip install reglite is the command that I need uh, to run uh, to install reglite. This is amazing. Now you have the power of so many tools of so many servers on your local system. I mean, it's not entirely local, but it's so easy to set up. We can add 225 servers and each of the servers has multiple tools. So counting all of these, I would say about 2000 to 2500 tools are available for you to use. And it's really amazing. Well, in some tools, you need to add your credentials as well. Uh, for example, a Neo 4J memory. And and if I go ahead and uh, here, so you'd be able to see that uh, we would have to add the credentials here because Neo4j again, uh, we need to add the credentials because we are working on our particular account. So whenever there is any specific reference to our particular account, you need to go ahead and uh, configure these uh, secrets as well. You can go to OAuth as well, and you can authorize the GitHub uh, as well uh, to get access to the GitHub. Well, that's it. I think this is an amazing toolkit, uh, this amazing server that you can use. We have multiple clients ready for us uh, i use regularly cloud desktop cursor and gemini a uh, cli and it's really fun to use it's easy it's so easy to use if you're looking for a pretty good gpu service you can go to gpu service that i use it's pretty fun you can get five to five hundred dollars of credits when you run for the first time and recharge with ten dollars so grab your bonus today now if you're interested in learning about olama cloud you can check out this video otherwise you can go through my channel and check out other videos that you find i'm sure you will find it interesting so that's it i'll see you there have a nice day